Turbo, you could have told me that you had company over and you could have told me that your company bites. What's up, Embers Beauty Gang? It's your girl, E. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the life of E. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to do a story time on how I got bit up by bed bugs at my hairstylist's house. And I, oh! Yeah. Yeah. This was a while ago, y'all, but I got bit up for no reason. For no reason. I didn't even do nothing. First of all, we're going to name, we're going to give my hairstylist a different name. So, my hairstylist's name is Turbo because we're going to name her Turbo because she can do my hair. She did my hair in like four to five hours, literally. Four to five hours, I was in, I was out. She was not like the mother hairstylist where they have you in a chair for eight to 12 hours and doing other people's hair in between time. No, she has you in, she has you out. Half your day, not even half your day. Well, it was like a quarter of your day. You still got the rest of your day left. Like, that's why I went to her. And this did not, when I, when we figured out she had, or when I figured out, because this was a, a solo thing. I had to go through this by myself. Everybody else didn't go through this. It was just me. But, um, yes, we're going to name my hairstylist Turbo. This is like my fourth time, third or fourth time going to Turbo. And I want to go get the hairstyle. And the, at this time, it was like 2014, 2000, and, uh, 2014, 2015. And uh, the Singley's hairstyle, this hairstyle right here, was in style. And I wanted to get it done, you know. The brown was my, the brown blonde was my color. And I was like, you know what, I gotta have it, I gotta get it done. And I went to her because she had, she was so quick and she knew how to do hair so good. She was African. So she did hair so good, so quick, and it was just so swiftly. So uh, this day, oh yeah, and then uh, just to let y'all know, um, I had to take my hair to her two days prior to get it stretched. Um, I don't know if a lot of if, if y'all know what that means to have your hair stretched. Um, I, I got some hair to demonstrate for y'all. So, so this is kind of stretched. It's not too stretched, but it could be stretched some more. But you see how it's like not so blotchy. Like it's like kind of like there's it could be stretched more. That's what I can say. But you see how it's like. Kind of stretch it's not like all one length if that makes sense but i took her my hair two days prior and uh for it to get stretched and um the day i went to her it was just like a normal regular day she did her hair she did hair in um the her living room and the chair that she had me sitting in it was like a chair it was like really close to the floor but it wasn't on the floor it's like a flat uh, a platform chair i'm gonna try to put one um as close as to i can't i don't i don't think i found a picture of it i was looking for one and i couldn't find it but um i'm gonna put a picture right here of what the chair looked like and i'm really tall so basically it felt like i was sitting on the floor and she's really short so it kind of makes sense why she needs to do that because she needs to be on the top of my her house was clean and her house was not dirty because if her house was dirty or anything like that i would not have went as many times as i did i don't play that like if i feel uncomfortable somewhere i'm not going back over there like when i got there i sat down and she started doing hair and um how she works is she doesn't have like a, a braiding separator thing i'm gonna put a picture right here too i'm gonna just put pictures here because uh, i don't know if y'all know what i'm talking about but it's a braid uh, a hair separator for when you braid in she didn't have one of those at the time so basically what happened was i had to hold the hair like this and i had to every time she was ready for a new piece of hair i had to hand it to her like this every time she needed a new piece of hair and sometimes she needed like let's say i gave her too big of a piece she'd be like too big too big so i would be like oh, okay so if i would give her this piece she'd be like that's too big and me not being a hair braider or doing hair at this time i'm like i don't know what size you want me to give you like i don't do hair and so she took she snatched it from me <laughs> so and she's not mean or anything like that it's just the way she talks and everything is just aggressive so that was the process of me getting my hair done i basically had to help her do my hair at the time i didn't have a problem with it she did my hair fast and i was in and i was out 
that's all I, I, that's all I knew I was happy I that was the quickest hair braider I have ever found to do twisties box braids whatever and I was satisfied with her, how she did her work because it was so neat it was so clean it was all that yeah so I didn't know she had company over because if I would have known this, I would have got some bug spray if I would have known she had company over. I'm sorry, no, <laughs> I'm so playing. But you know when you sit down and you get your hair done, or if you sit down anywhere, your shirt rises a little bit and like a little bit of your back is exposed. Um, they got that back meat. My little love handles back there, they was tearing my back up. My back had bumps like crazy, but I didn't notice the bumps. I didn't notice that right away. I just noticed that I was itching. So when I noticed I was itching, this was like maybe one or two hours into me getting my hair braided. Like really, me really noticing like, dang, I am itching, but because I'm always itching. Like my skin is like, I'm always itching. My, my skin is sensitive. So you see me, if you see me playing with my hair, it's not because I want to, it's just because like hair bothers me stuff. Like if I feel something tickling me, it bothers me. Like right now I'm trying to get this piece of hair. Um, if it bothers me, I gotta get it. And I just thought it was hair on my back. So like, you know, I went like that just to kind of get the hair that she already did in the back, like off my back and like pull my shirt down. And I'm thinking like, okay, let me put my shirt down so the hair don't go on my shirt. Cause you know, when you get your hair braided, it gets in your pants, it gets, it gets in your shirt, hair be in your, like hair be everywhere when you get your hair braided. I don't know how it get in places it be getting into, but it be getting in here. And after that, um, and then I started noticing my toes, like in between my toes was like, it was like itching. And I had like bumps on my toes. I'm like, why am I breaking all of my feet? And it's not clicking in my head. I'm not really thinking, oh, she got she got bed bugs. I never really experienced it. I know, well, never really experienced it. I never experienced it before. It's like, I, I'm not assuming that it's just her house being having bed bugs. I'm just like, why am I having this allergic reaction to whatever? And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, feeling itchy. I'm like, like she took a break because at this time she was pregnant. So I, she took a break and I'm just like, why am I itching? What is going on? I'm at this, I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of my clothes. Like I'm ready to take my clothes off. Like, is there bugs on me? <laughs> but I couldn't. And then I like went to the bathroom. I'm like, there's nothing on me. And I'm looking. And I'm not looking at my back at this time. I'm just looking on the front of me, like the front of me. I'm like, what is going on? You know, I'm like, let me just wash my hands. I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I go sit back down, get my hair done, finish, boom, whatever. And I, I pay her and then I leave. Um, I drove, I, at this time I was driving, so I drove myself to my appointment. And I'm pretty sure after that I called my mom. I, I think I called my mom. And um, I was just telling her, like, I am itching. Like, I was sitting there and I was itching. Everything is itching. My uh, back is itching. My uh, my feet is itching. I got bumps on my back. At this time, when I'm walking to the car and I get in the car, I notice my back got, like, a whole bunch of, like, welts and bumps and stuff on it from me. Just, like, it just, just swelling up. But I'm just like, what is this? And I'm just, like, swelling up and just itching. And, and she was just like, she probably got bad luck. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? So I was like, who got bed bugs? <laughs> I don't know who who met um, Turbo first. I don't know if it was my aunt. I don't know if it was my, um, my mom. I don't know if it was my grandma, but I think they met her at the hair store or whatever. But, I, but they went to her too multiple times. All, all of us, like I have cousins that went to her. I have sisters that went to her. We was referring people to her. And I'm the only one that I guess got bit up unless nobody else said no. Hey y'all, just ed editing essence here. Just wanted to let y'all know, I actually remembered who met who. So it was my mama. It was my own mama that met this girl that, and she liked her hair and she asked who her hairstylist was and that's how she got Turbo's number. Yeah, she got bed bugs and she's like, and don't bring them to my house either. I'm like, I gotta come home. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? I take my clothes off on the back porch. So, and we have like a gated back porch. So I took my shoes off, I took my clothes off, I in the shower. And I, I don't think I washed my hair. I think I really wanted to. 
I think I really wanted to wash my hair, but I just got my hair done. I'm like, I just got done paying $120. Like, well, I don't really want to wash my hair out because it's going to look old. <laughs> I said her name. My bad. Turbo. Turbo, you could have told me that you had company over and you could have told me that your company bites because I got bit the fuck up. <laughs> I got bit up by them, um, by them, uh, bed bugs, and it's just, it, and it wasn't like she was dirty, like, I don't, I don't know how, I don't, I don't even want to know, I don't even want to know. Um, after that, I moved to Arizona, so this was in Colorado, so all of you don't know by now, I am from Colorado, so this hairstylist was in Colorado, um, she moved from the apartment she was at. Um, and I just, and the kind of apartment she had too, by the way, this is just like a little side note, the kind of apartment that she had, it was like, you go into the, like, it's a building. So you go into the building and you can either go downstairs or you can go upstairs. So there's apartments downstairs and there's apartments upstairs. So you got to pick between the two and hers is the upstairs. And she was like the third or fourth door on the right, I believe and um that's how it was and maybe those kind of maybe i don't know if maybe somebody tracked it in the hallway and that's how she got them i don't know because we went to her before and i don't know where she got them from and we didn't get i didn't get bit up every time i went over there it was just that one time so yeah um what else do i need to say about that I did go back to her to get my hair done um and so this happened in like 2014 2015 and then i went to her 2018 and got my hair braided for my cousin's graduation and i did not get bit up but she did have a baby and her baby is bad just throw that out there <laughs> because um if you have food her baby's coming to get your food um, you're going to share with her baby. She's not going to tell her baby anything. If you got your phone, the baby's going to take her, try to take your phone out of her hand. The baby's going to try to get in your lap, okay? Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I, I like kids. I, I really, I, I, I can tolerate it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, girl, get your baby. I'm trying to get my hair done. I'm not trying to babysit, hand you hair. I'm not trying to be put to work to get my hair done. <laughs> I'm not trying to be put to work. And then I got to feed your baby too. Your baby hungry. Your baby eat my Cheetos. Your baby eat my McDonald's fries. At this time, we didn't know. Or no, what was it? It wasn't McDonald's. Chick-fil-A was right across the street. So, and actually, this was right across the street from the rural mall, by the way. If you know, you know. Just because I went back to her to get my hair done. It's just like, when you, when you find somebody that do your hair and they do it so good, and they do it so cheap. like that $120 $140 that's cheap for some to get your hair done they're out here charging me $200 $300 like is no and then they they hairstyles don't even their their skills don't even be giving like what are you doing charging that much you should not be charging that much but and y'all be taking forever and i mean yes my hair lady was unprofessional but I give her her little passes and everything or whatever, but whatever. I should give y'all um, a little story time on this other hairstyle is how she had me in the hair salon from eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night and she had roaches. But I don't know if I wanna give y'all that story time. <laughs> Cause it's a quick story time. I mean, I guess I can tell y'all now. So. Um, there was another hairstylist I used to go to when I was in middle school, high school. My mom used to take me there. All of us used to go there. Used to do, get kinky twists. Um, my mom, we used to call out of school for this and everything because it used to take all day long and we used to be busy on the weekends. And we used to be busy on the weekends. So uh, my mom used to drop us off like 8 o'clock in the morning or whoever is getting their hair done, whether it's me and my sister together or just me by myself or whatever. So, or I used to have to go sit there when my sister went to get her hair done because she was young. But um, my mom would drop us off 8 o'clock in the morning and my mom would not come pick us up until like 8 o'clock at night because 
they're not done doing our hair and they be taking people like little walk-ins and stuff like that and then send us to the side and then doing their hair and then keep going um i mean my mom she used to come i mean she was checking on us don't think that she just left us or nothing but um she did check on us she brought us food i mean when we went there we got to make sure we took food with us in the morning and then around like lunchtime, should we make sure we took food again and then by uh and by the time we got off we made sure we had food again because we was there all day long and it was ridiculous like i used to hate going to get my hair done by her but and she used to wash and and she was Af she was an african lady too and she washed my sister's hair with dish detergents Dawn dish detergent. She washed my sister's hair with Dawn dish detergent. And they had roaches, but I said that already. It was just... why? I don't know why. Why did we put up with this? Why did we, why did we keep going to them? I don't know if it's because we knew them. I, I know because... I don't know. I would not put up with that. Now, I would not. I am... Couldn't be me now. I didn't have no choice back then, I guess. But it could not be me now. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the story time, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you tell everybody about the Empress of Beauty Gang so they can become part of the gang. Make sure you make that bell shake and not by mistake. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Empress Beauty Gang.